Hello, everybody. Welcome to my Wiley Solution Walkthrough. This is for accounting tools for business decision making. This is the eighth edition, Problem 17.5. The textbook authors are Paul Kimmel, Jerry Weingant, and Joe Mitchell. The question used in this presentation is copyright 2022 by John Wiley and Sons. All rights are reserved. This is for educational purposes only. The video may not be distributed or redistributed without the express permission of Wiley. This solution presentation is copyright 2022 by Bennett Tchaikovsky. All rights are reserved. The opinions contained within this presentation are those of Bennett Tchaikovsky and not the authors of the textbook or of Wiley. So here we have a company, Lewis and Stark. It's an accounting firm. They have an audit and tax practice. And when we look at this over here, they have total overhead of 720,000. Now, the traditional way they're going through and doing it is they're basically saying, let's go through and allocate this based on direct labor hours. And if you kind of look at like either directly or indirectly, if I take, which I think is actually more of a coincidence, so I'm just going to leave it alone. So if we're doing single plant wide or basically a single driver based on direct labor hours, right? How do I allocate the overhead? Well, I've got $720,000 in overhead. So if my audit direct labor is a total of 1.1 million and my total direct labor is 1,800,000 and then my tax direct labor is 700,000, my total direct labor is 1.8 billion. And what I want to go ahead and here and do is basically come up with a percentage, right? So if I'm allocating this based on direct labor, right? So I've got 720,000 of overhead. If we're odd, if we're allocating it based on direct labor, this is going to be at 61%. And then this is going to be at 38%. So if my total overhead is 720,000, the amount that's going to be allocated over here to audit is going to be 0.61 times 720. And then over here for tax, this is going to be 0.38 times 720. Okay, so this is 720 times 0.61. This is 720 times 0.38. So this is how it's basically happening now. And if you look at the call of the question, the tax partner is very happy with this, but the audit partner is saying, wait a second, we want to use something. I want you to look at, at using this using activity-based costing. Why does this make such a huge difference? Because uh, the partners are going to get paid according to what they produce. If you're a partner in an accounting firm, it's all going to be about the business that you bring in. And when we look at this over here, um, pretty quickly, you're going to be realizing it's like, oh my God, this is like, um, yeah, like the audit partner is watching their take going down pretty significantly. So let's now take a look at this in terms of activity-based costing. Now, if you've watched my other videos on this, what is it that we go through and do? Well, we're going to go ahead and do, is we're going to basically say, let's move this out of the way for right now. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so my uh, cost pool or my cost pool, employee training, typing, computing, rental, and then travel. Okay, so in terms of the estimated overhead, the employee training is 216,000, 76,200, 204,000, 142,500, 81,300. First thing I have to make sure when I do this, this has to equal the total amount of the overhead. Remember, 
when we're doing these questions, right? It's all about the amount of the overhead is the same. It's just the way that we're going through and allocating it is going to be different. So my driver, okay, is gonna be over here, is gonna be direct labor hours. This is gonna be number of reports, uh, number of minutes, number of employees, per uh, basic expense reports. Okay, so the actual, so my driver amount, this is gonna be my total direct labor hours or my direct labor dollars of 1.8 million. This is going to be 2,500. This is going to be 60,000. And this is going to be 40. Okay. And this over here, it says trace directly. And I'll talk about that when we get that momentarily. Okay. So my rate per driver, this is going to be 216 divided by 1.8 million or 0.12. So again, I got this, this is my estimated overhead, my driver amount, my rate per driver is gonna be 216 divided by 1.8 million. Okay, so for my typing, this is going to be $30 per report or $30.48 per report. This here is gonna be per minute of dollars and 40 cents this is going to be over here three thousand uh fort rental three thousand five sixty two fifty and this again is going to be traced directly and the reason why an expense report is going to be traced directly because if i've got an employee that's an auditor i can directly trace it into that department okay so over here my audit uh, driver, and this will be my audit allocation. So I'm going to take the audit driver amount. I'm going to multiply that to get my allocation. So my audit driver here for my payroll, 827,000 and then 22. And again, I'm gonna show you this in a moment. So right over here, my audit driver is, this is in direct labor dollars. So I'm gonna multiply 1.1 million times 0.12. I'm gonna take 30.48 times 800, $3.40 times 27,000, and then 3,562.50 times 22, and then over here, the actual amount of my travel for the audit was 56,000. So again, when I add up all of these amounts right over here, I'm coming up with 382,559. Now, what I could also do too, is I could say, oh, that must mean tax must have been 337,441 if I only have two departments. You could do that, but my exam, you're gonna get three departments, so. There you go. All right. So over here, my tax driver is going to be 700,000 for the payroll or the direct labor, 1,733,018. And then this is also going to be a trace directly. And my tax allocation is gonna be E times F, or I'm taking, sorry, C times F equals G. So this is gonna be 0.12 times 700,000. This is gonna be 3048 times 1700. This is gonna be $3.40 times 33,000. This is going to be 3,562.50 times 18. 
And then over here, my trace directly amount is going to be 25,300. So when I add up these amounts right over here, I got a total amount of 720,000. Okay. So let's now kind of do a comparison. Okay, so this is under single plant wide or single factor. And this is going to be ABC. The total amount of overhead we're talking about allocating is going to be 720,000. But over here, you've got 382,559 for audit. And then over here, you've got 337,441 for tax. Notice we're not talking about here. Uh, we're not basically saying anything about a per unit because we're not given anything with regards to the returns or that's a different, totally different animal. But now would this make a pretty big difference? Well, what's the amount of overhead that's being shifted? If we kind of look at it under ABC, right? The overhead here for auditing basically declined by 57,000. And then it basically went up by the same amount. Now, is that a material amount? Well, if we take that compared to the original amount of the overhead that was being allocated, I would say it's probably going to be materially significant because the tax department's overhead is increasing, right? So where did we get this from? So this over here, the 57,441 is 337,441. So this is the increase or the decrease, okay? And who? Okay, so over here and my percentage, this is gonna be 57,441. divided by 440,000. This here is going to be 280,000, or excuse me, this is going to be 57,441, which is the amount of the change divided by 280,000. So as a percentage, this is pretty significant because now the audit partner, their overhead allocation has gone down by 13%. And then the tax partner, they're actually now getting 20% allocated more to them. So this is why when you are going through and looking at these, if you're going to be joining up a firm and you're going to be a, become a partner at some point, you really want to make sure you understand how your profitability is going to be calculated because just like little things like this can make a huge difference. So uh, let's just take a look at the book solution real quick. So here you can kind of see they took the 40% times those. This is what we went through and did earlier. Um, we did a little bit different. We took, I think we took 720 and multiplied it by 1.1 um, million divided by 1.8 million. We came up with the same amounts. And then over here, you're kind of looking at this is how they went through and did the allocation. And you can kind of see this here is basically you know, uh, how they're going through and doing the, the basically the analysis or the change. And so again, this is really, again, why is this chapter so important? It's, and it's really because you're, if you're getting paid based on profitability of an entity, it is very subjective as to how that profitability can be uh, determined. And so I really want to encourage you that, you know, if you're taking anything away from the material, even if you decide, dude, there's no way I'm going to be a CPA, I totally respect that. Just call me up if you need me. I'm just kidding. Uh, just, you know, make sure that you're, you know, you know how things are being computed. And that's why having a good business manager, you know, having those people around you to make sure they have your best interests is always the best way to go. But in any event, I want to thank Wiley for continuing to allow me to make these. Um, really appreciate it. And uh, if you have any questions, or if you would like to see other videos made from this particular textbook, which they have kindly given me the ability to do so, please feel free to reach out to me. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day.